Hey, what's happening, Techos? What's going on? Um, today I have a bunch of shit to damn share with you. Um, this time I'm just gonna get more real, and I just want to say that I feel like I'm just sweeping through like a radar, but I'm just pushing everything around and just, you know, instead of the radar just going bleep and something happens. I feel like I'm just coming through and sweeping all this shit up into a pile and then removing it and examining it in my life and hopefully instead of just being a radar that says what something is, you know, I'll actually be able, <laughs> you know, to go all the way around and sweep everything that I've seen in my life that other people are still repeating and looking at it again when I could just go and sweep it all up looking back at everything and then really put it into something that really makes that ultimate sense and anyway I've kind of decided since I played a lot of um, ah shit just put any kind of you know FPS shooter online you know MMO that I've played um, I forgot it was, it was called Switch or something like that I don't remember but it was basically a uh, it's called Crossfire and from playing that you know, it got really starts to smell like Legos and fingers touching it too much, you know, and um, just to have, you know, evil and good, you know, it really is not plausible at all. And, you know, the sense of evil in Muslim compared to the evil in Christian is actually, you know, two different things here, you know, because uh, evil in Christian is actually being a woman but evil in Muslim is actually being a man even if it says woman because Allah is an actually a woman who is telling you what to do <coughs> and you know it's easier to say this is going to be about the Muslim edition and um, it's just <coughs> me taking the same idea I had before with the whatever I wanted to call it, my symbol thing that I made that is not a sword, you know, or is one if that's just all that part of that toy is for. But I really wanted to have, you know, a life encompassing, you know, thing that could take all my information and keep it and, you know, and then be it and use it. And to me the word Allah just sounds like more to mouth because, you know, I you know, I like and stuff like that, you know, I want people to be able to know what it feels like to rake some damn sand. Like, seriously, I want people to know what it feels like to rake some damn wonderful sand. And, um, <clears throat> you know, that's like my tongue licking anything. You know, it feels great. Also, I figured it could go to my tongue and make me lick it. You know, so I know there's a lot of forces involved. So it's going to be the same thing, basically, as before. Okay, so up here, you know, I have my upside-down um, diagram. This is two people drawn in a silhouette. This is where the shoulders kind of drop down. There's something in between here. This is for Bonzi and Clove on the other sides. That's where I'm going to have my other tattoo, you know, my other side of my other arm. You know, and this is just two other people, you know, looked at it upside down. You know, upside down is easier to understand with a woman, um, but it's just as easy to understand with a man. But I was just saying that male and female definitely has an upside down side kind of mix. You know, something, when you drop something, someone will get horny or something, bing, you know, flag goes up. You know, or, you know, forget something and then someone remembers it, you know. So it's really easy to see how, you know, dropping something could be someone picking it up, you know, and remembering it for you, you know, or, you know, someone just losing it and then, you know, someone else found it while you lost it because, you know, you had fucking, you know, some kind of, you know, mass murder just walking around and being like, damn, you know, you really left something out here, you know, or, you know, it's just always someone helpful, of course. It's never anything bad. But, um, basically here, you know, uh, I have the word wording. 
and silver bowl upside down, except the bowl will be upside down. Uh, the same bowl from the, uh, the Jesus one. <coughs> so yeah, that's what we collected as people, as gigantic snowballs just rolling along and you know, a guy, which is named Muhammad. I believe, really, Muhammad is just, like I said, more to mouth. And, you know, I mean, that looks like people, you know, it looks pretty steady. I think it does. Um, that's just using some sort of stuff from the day and just telling you about it. Because I enjoy it. Um, so, um, anyway, I'm just going to talk about this for you. Um, here we have a small pile of debris and a height limit here. And um, basically, we have someone bending over here under the height limit. Like if I said, you know, this is 52 inches, here you go. You know, and I've just been going off of my memory of me going to Six Flags. Memory of me going to Six Flags when I was younger. And I'm just saying, like, if I was taller or shorter or whatever, Whatever height it is, you know, to get on the roller coaster, or whatever, you know, the point is, is that I can say, well, if I feel this way about said conclusion, you know, then if you can bend over and, you know, stand up, but bend over under that height limit, then you will be able to not have bowler and hit it, you know, a problem and hit it, and, you know, you'll be able to stay there indefinitely. You know, and at least, you know, frozen in time, you would be able to, you know, which would have to be, you know, in here somewhere, supposedly. So, um, you can't stand fully if the universal limit is given about a topic to answer yes or no to proving the subject. Um, you can't stand fully. So what I was saying was about a small pile of debris. It's like if you were in any room or any area that you could even call a room or a place that you can sweep or rake or anything, and you can just, you know, sweep, you know, and then look at a pile, and it could be even this high, and it still has a height limit, then you can use math and measurement, and you can actually see how you know, something that is, you know, let's say that high and there's that like a little bit higher probably or a little bit lower, you know, but a, approximate, you know, like using the spatula, you know, I can feel where this is going type of feeling, you know, so you know what the height is. You don't say exactly this and that's it. You know, you say like a little bit below or a little bit above, but like right on that spot, you know, like there's a small pile of debris and here's the limit you know approximately this area so you you know is what we're aiming for you know <clears throat> um but if there was a, an exact um we could say that the exact would kind of still it requires movement uh for something to be exact and um so in physics you know you can't really hold your hand you know exactly like this without moving it at all you know because it's constantly moving like this you know you know and I mean, it's moving more drastic than that you know, it's all over the place you know when it's trying to do what it wants to do you know i mean seriously so um you know it's kind of out being basically what we call you know zoom one without zoom two and without zoom three over here you know because you can't just be you know zoomed all the fucking way in <laughs> and you can't see further out and all the way out you know so you can't have someone and based on our technology now that is not using the body calls it organic has organs with feet displayed and thinks that a building is sexy is very very rare of a fetish and probably just two or three people in the whole world that is sharing you know this 20 years or 30 or 40 or 400 or 800 that we've spent or 2000 that we spent there's just a couple of little people that are in our way you know but now we understand them today you know that you know basically you can't have robots that have an exact perfect you know, perfect measurement, perfectly clean, exactly, 
you know, the way that it should be, and that, you know, someone can just walk up and mess it up, you know, is basically, you know, something that requires more, you know, and when people get in prison, you know, we know that, you know, 90% of men are in prison, but we know that 10% of women are, so that means there's a lot of metaphorical what you call women, you know, that would be in prison, you know, and um, it's pretty fucked up, but... You know, I just think prison sucks, and I think it's a waste. So, um... So, yeah, so the debris is swept and gone, you know, because we remember it, and we know that this was a sad sentence, so now we can sweep it and get rid of it and kind of clear up some space so we can see what the space cleared up looks like, you know, so we can kind of continue, you know, drawing and creating our lives. Um... Let's see, so it's kind of like having a locked biophysic password like question. If I am right, would similarly be in this height to what I'm saying? Then, I or you can with my body or yours at the right height, stay bent over under the level, half standing up, and back not hurt. Back hurt it indicates that a full boner happened post mortem. That any person or idea would try to fully stand up, therefore giving up sleeping or eating and shitting, working and resting, etc. Based on the principle that something is so important can exist that can cause you to stay in one position forever. To be and represent each idea we learned must preserve. It is natural and is done in our thinking. So that's a little recap. And, um,. And standing up would indicate cutting off limbs and placing them or dying to stand would be done only or injury. So basically we would be hurt if we were standing when those things were there. When we have three people choosing a, a thing and making an idea or a few, which is a conglomerate one, you know, um, it seems that everyone's safe when they're stepped outside of, you know, basically, you know, a zoomed in area to look at something. Now it's time to come back form of feeling. You know, and um, I think that uh, um, I guess, uh, you know, something that's too zoomed in over here would probably be something zoomed in if it's hurting and it's still in this break your hand area while looking at it. You know, it seems to be a really pleasurable place and only a few people have been in that place without you know, two and three is what the goal is here for us to say. And that, you know, someone can bend over and is safe in that area. If they can stay in that area, then something would make them stay in that area. You know, it would be well, basically further understood. So um, over here, you know, we have things kind of rising upwards and going up into the thing, like in my other diagram. Uh, here's someone stepping, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's kind of like, I have no idea, I don't know what the hell that shit is, but I'll figure it out, but it's basically just stepping, you know, upside down, like kind of like the little walk on water feeling, you know, when you're just like, yeah, I can feel that, you know, I'm a high flower. You know, but basically not like that, you know, but, you know, probably using, you know, the zooming out that you would learn in order to add things into the air balloon that goes upwards into that, you know, instead of falling and being dropped, which sounds like walk on water to me. I think that walking on water is completely ridiculous and stupid. If you think that you are a flower when you have 97.1 degrees as your, you know, body temperature or whatever the normal temperature is, uh, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you can't be flowers and prickly things and this other stuff, you know, and spiders and stuff like that, because you are human, and, um, <clears throat> you know, in order to translate, you have to do your job and translate as a human, you know, for those types of things, and can't have, you know, commercials about dog food, you know, with flowers and stuff, you know, and lotus position and stupid shit. That is in our way in buildings, you know, like uh, yoga and all that junk that we don't need. <clears throat> um, well, after we went through it, now we can clean up that debris. 
and find some new debris to uh, height limit and you know so um, anyway um, here we have this is just like the peace thing between the Muslims and the uh, I said Muslim country um, or Allah clip and Jesu pick of Jesu did well anyway the goal um, is basically just studying uh, insulin and vitamins and banana bags and that were used before or just insulin shots and measurements and not just like placebos but actual times that we've looked at in hospitals and places where you know people have shot things up and kind of measured what it was like before they shot it up what was being shot up in you know muscle terms and basically uh, some ideas for peace for the whole world to really understand um, some really cool skills that you learn in this video that you can no one is accomplishing and you can try to and it would be really awesome so um, this is my ideas y'all they have no flex tight flex and relax flex now it's pretty easy to understand that no flex is basically just like looking at this piece of paper and being this piece of paper basically um, but not actually like you died to be this piece of paper you were gone by now this is your body and you know you probably like little pieces of a shin not that what I'm saying is basically that you know no flex is it indicates flying will not be used by anyone as post mortem. Basically, it is post mortem, but really, it's also just the part where things are physical items and are being examined by a human examining it. You know, by our body that is even not human sometimes, but is actually still human examining the paper as the paper to us. You know, like, yeah, it's like when you hear a sound and the sound has to kind of like come back and you know let me know what's going on and everything but basically it's not really it's like a, it's like a cap limit off you know it's like the limit it's like when you touch someone then it keeps going forwards you know not the science of it continuing forwards is this little spaceship that's going forwards and you know stuff that someone else would break off and then do but that's what to be aware of is to, you know an alarm of you know alarm of is not to do that and, um, and then we have our tight flex here, which is, you know, when you hold something like that and it pushes it in kind of like a syringe. And then we have our relaxed flex, which is just where it sits like this, and then it puts it in, you know. So it's like three different things that are really good, you know. And the no flex being put in would just be that part where it feels like your skeleton is being emphasized. But it must have tight flex and relax in order to understand it. <coughs> I have all three. So, you know, as a recap, you know, we have our three syringes over here. And a relax flex, no one is touching, but is monitored by tight and relax. Seems like no flex, but is alive. So it's alive, but alive, you know, no longer means. <laughs> You caught me. <laughs> my spine and my neck. <laughs> you know, not stuff like that. You know. Basically, it just means, you know, no flex. Oh, there's nothing about it, really. It means nothing, really. <clears throat> and then tight flex is the same thing here. You know, it's basically alive. This is all alive. You know, but before, I would really look at this as dead. You know, but I, that's just because of the postmortem was still kind of my idea of his own thing, thing. You know, yeah. No flex, same, but no flex is. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, this one is relaxed flex. That's relaxed flex. That's tight flex, and that's no flex. So it's not really alive, though. Because, I mean, if you really add the physics in to the extensions of what you have, you know, if there's an object like a phone that is there it still has you know small extension of you as it you know which does kind of give pleasure <coughs> anyway um so here we have 
you know, zoom one, zoom two, and zoom three. And um, basically on zoom one, this is like the other names for it, no baby, which is having no baby by having the most chromatic orgasms ever, yawn. Um, that's on the zoom one. <coughs> Zoom 2 is like military sign holding or cheerleading, etc. according to the economy. To retain and accrue, yawn. And then Zoom 3, held breath like diving boardwalk, yawn. And it's basically kind of like I was looking at a bow flex in someone's head and a triangle that kind of looks up. It kind of holds on using this and that, you know, to make sure it knows what's up. And it's just that, you know, if you had, you know, some flappy stuff on. You know, it'd be just like trees when the wind's blowing, it gets turned on. It's like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you know, movement, free movement, oh, yes. You know, and then you have the forced kind of free movement, you know, right in here. And that, you know, is the uh, zoom two. And then zoom one, you know, is just safely, like, getting to the next part, I guess, right? And just, you know, going all the way you know and then coming out of that so um basically at three like i said on the other video three is when you're fully zoomed out in life you know and you're not all the way up in everybody's business this is as far as way you can zoom out anything so there is no four you know what i'm saying there is no i'm looking for four no you're not you know and then zoom two is when you're just touching you know when you're touching another person or you're touching another's presence and you know this next part is just it again you know but just with the extra other cool emphasis and shit you know but it shouldn't be where mr building you know i sign here and i get my gigantic uh, cardboard saw and start chopping up bodies is not really the point you know so um anyway it all feels like a yawn because a yawn is a full stretch you know it's a full feeling and you know it, it is it's it's a full feeling <sighs> and i got some other examples um zoom one wait okay all right zoom three my example was body is pointing a gravity back and that's just like if you were like up inside of a like a you know how they have those little air chambers and like you can you know walk you can jump up in it and you're still floating like this and you can just imagine somebody walking and their jumps like boom, boom, you know, and then they're just going along like this, and it's like boom, 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 you know, but you can count it one, two, three, four, and you count every last step, you know, and it feels so good to feel like you're suspended up in the air, which, you know, this feeling would give you, you know, you just don't want to have a baby to get that feeling because that will basically put you back in post mortem if you really if you could find some way to live forever based on just having pleasure is my goal and i know it's possible just as a social thing because it takes a lot of social work you know looking at a video game and you can just have just because you know there are steps right here you know you have to walk with those feet to walk up and go up those steps you know and if you don't you know i will fucking kill you you know, is what I basically feel, <laughs> you know, and, you know, just for someone to say, well, you know, you are a human, and, you know, someone did come up with it, and, you know, since you did, you know, just carefully and just kindly die, thank you, you know, because, you know, we have years to look at, and things, you know, and just all types of information, and just you know, uninteresting shit that we can now get rid of, you know, it's, that, that's enough, you know, I'm willing to have fun and play my game, if there was a height limit and I hit my head, you know, on something that I don't like, you know, let you know, hey man, don't have somebody want the height limit there, and they say, no, you can't do it, you don't just make them try to do it, you know, you'd be like, oh, okay, well, I guess this isn't your ride, and, you know, I need to follow you then, you know, and do what you, what you want me to do, what you want me to do. And then um, the second part was just a movie. And then the third one was not having to look at Seth Rogen as Seth Rogen. 
Like if he was starring as himself, Seth Rogen, and Seth Rogen, because the way his body is shaped, is actually an expression. And um, if his name is Seth Rogen as Seth Rogen, you know, it actually is a, a big, huge mess. You know, because he starred in Knocked Up, and no one wants it either in that movie. And it was forced, you know, it was fucking horrible, but it was how the world felt. And, you know, no one wants to go through the world felt again. And just to hear it one more time is really annoying. And we can all agree on that. <clears throat> so basically, you know, I mean, so that's just zooming all the way in. We have the cat streak in the box on these two down here, three and two. And then at one, there's basically anything else. And just a description of it. It's like when you're thinking and that description there about what's there. That's the part where I need to understand this full thing from that perspective. You know, because I have a lot of thinking in my life where I feel, you know, and taste like I'm getting somewhere. But I don't taste anything. I don't feel it. I don't see the sounds. I don't see any visuals. I don't see any CEVs. I don't see any CE smells. I don't see any closed nose smells. I don't get any, uh, you know, sleeping visuals. I don't get any you know notifications or anything so what I'm talking about here is I can't fully zoom in on this so far <clears throat> because I was born you know but it doesn't mean that I wasn't born I think that's what it means you know when I was born <sighs> but anyway um, that, uh, you know so here we have you know cat shriek in the boxes and then the other one I think the description of it is as far as I've gotten with that climatic area in my life, you know, but if I could just somehow put the cat streak in the box to light up this one, it would be fucking nice. Or just us as a whole probably have it. Um, and that's just because I've heard those, you know, Indian people on the phone, and like, hello, can I help you? And, you know, it always sounds like something big and clunky is boxing it up, you know, and always ends up having those little shins. You know, their shin and no feet, you know, just the top above their shin, like their whole foot is gone. You know, like fish just kind of came up and ate all their fucking feet. And then they have just that little bit of shin left. And it's like fat people that are women walking with toothpicks. When you know that, you know, damn people have like spread teeth and can walk a little bit better if you use math with it. You know, which I figured out, you know, that stuff is definitely not useless to have teeth that do things. You know, that's important, you know. So hand pushes out, frozen in time, yawn. Here we have this hand I drew. And you can just see how a hand could be admired. And how, you know, things should not mess it up or bother it. You know, and when there's a yawn, it should have a stretch accompanying it. If it does not, then there's post-mortem in there and death and that's somewhere at three, I think, right? Or one. I don't know. But I wouldn't want to think that one is the post-mortem if post-mortem is outside and zoomed out for... Well, I think all three of them will be. But I'm just saying, I wouldn't want to be, you know, the guy who made, you know, up the uh, down cake idea. I'm thinking, you know, zoom one has to do with... Like, probably, like, being dead or something. <laughs> You know, I don't think so. I don't think it has to do with being dead. So I probably got that wrong. You know, not having a baby probably isn't being dead. Um, but anyway, just the point is, is that if the hand's stuck like this and it starts to smell like fungus and it starts to stink really bad, and I mean like not having fun and you'll you'll go to our vid, you know, not that kind of thing, you know, you know, but just how you know a yawn can be. <sighs> And then it overlaps with one person, and it could be that fat slut sin, you know. And then it could just be, I'm going to have some cake. And then it's a unisex idea, which is not unisex. It's actually both, you know, and it's just two points, you know, that can be used. You know, and like I'm saying, it, you know, if you could have something to swing like a small mace, you know, or just a little round thing. And it just has a little string, you can just kind of move it. You know, you can really understand the physics of it. Because when we're being looked at, you know, it feels like 
you know, I'm holding something that is like negative weight, that is like less than a pound. So when I'm swinging it, you know, it's like it's it's carrying itself along, but it's like not doing anything. It's like something that's really light, you know, like lighter than a feather would be, and kind of blocks it up, you know. And just to see a negative physic, you know, or just some kind of too light physic, when you want something to have more swing added to it, is the point, you know. So you don't want to now picture everything as you know something that is just constantly you know like doesn't have a weight added to it that you can swing and move and it's got to be available i mean that's what the point is is that when there's motion and you have yes and no when you have you know this and that you know or contrast and another contrast there has to be two contrasts no matter what it is in order to keep things moving it's got to have a mixture of some really good ideas for us to use and that just seems to be pretty damn lickable to me. And I just wish that it wasn't. You know, so I could just die. You know, is that how you want me to feel when N could be inside of D-I and E? And you could just say dying? And then that, just two little ideas coming together is offensive to nothing? You know, I hate that. I fucking hate it. I hope you fucking hate it. I fucking hate it, you fucking hate it. You fucking it. So, um, do not like no flex because humans post mortem because us fungus and virus commercials causes us to like fungus and virus commercials and getting sick is a turn on to buildings which is post mortem with past human capability and is at bluff strength fully false. Is just saying that bluff strength makes our hand look like a fucking plastic fork. Or just some kind of regular guy like that Asian guy in, um... What's that shit called? I don't remember what the movie was. It was this guy who's got a gigantic bomb and will save the world. Um... Malibu's most wanted, you know, for those of you who are a little bit slow. A little bit fast, obviously, or just the same. Also, another thing you have to realize about these two differences is when something is the same, it is not exactly the same. You know, because when you say, like, I've seen that same, you know, and then you've seen that, you know, different a little bit, because you're agreeing with not saying, like, this exact moment is the exact same moment as the next exact same moment that I am about to have now is having it now, and then what, you know? So it's basically just saying that we need more alternates here. We have in God we trust on a dollar. Yet we have Allah over here, which is a female. You know, female, male. You know, and I know it says that Allah could be the voice of Muhammad. But he said that he would be a woman because a woman is so powerful. That's why there is 90%, you know, men imprisoned and there is 10% women in prison in America and in other places, you know, it's exactly the same. Everywhere, all over the world, it's like that. And that's because there's different forms of things that we can do. When we're a huge-ass fucking crumpled up fucking snowball going down a fucking hill. You know, and I mean it, man. Please, you know. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I just wish I could do that, you know. I wish it could just freely, you know, with the relaxed flex, you know, be, and you know, I wish that it could be with the tight flex also, with the with the sign holding and symbols and stuff, you know, be held. And then with the no flex, you know, with nothing going on, it's someone else doing that. I forgot to tell you that, you know, because you were all the way up in it, you know, so it's like someone else doing it with you. It's like two people doing it. It's like when you let go. And then someone else is holding it and letting it go and moving it, you know, and does something, you know. And I, I just wish I could just keep the physics instead of be, you know, you know, I'm gonna get my head up here, you know, with like just these wrinklies right here. I mean, is there any way to just, instead of just make it, you know, where I can just die? I mean, could I just make myself look better and more glorious, you know, rather than just rather than just not. You know, can I can I have better looking expressions is what I'm trying to say. 
instead of just, you know, I am not done to have a beer. You know, instead of that kind of stuff, I'm, can I just say what I mean to say, you know, instead of it be like, I need a translator, you know, so here comes the next part. God damn it. And so I've never seen us as a whole achieve Zoom. Three, two, and one is cultural society. Three would require two and one. Three is like everyone is moving and alive. Like droplets of water hitting back at each other, gaining momentum, and which was there basically diving boardwalk for everything's like this. But it feels like you're also high up in the air because it requires one and two, I think. Or just some kind of mixture. And you know, also symbols because we need to remember things. You know, because you have to hold down something while you do something. You know, in order for it to stay there. You know, that's that's what I have to do, remember anything. I have to go back and say something or reiterate something. You know, now I'm holding this down, holding this down, go to the next one, use my other memory then. You know, and um that's important. It would definitely require it. You know, especially if you really want to lose it, be the one. You know, and you can even put them together. <coughs> you know, maybe have both of them kiss, you know, but the real Muhammad is definitely woman and just the way speech is, weather is, tornadoes and wind and rain and all that, you know, it really adds up to a fucking woman because, you know, it's hot, water is nearby. You know, you wouldn't want to have just a dick. You know, it's just like, well, what about a fountain, you know? Fuck, oh, thank you so much. You know, and it's just that all those fucking great feelings that make you... Mm, you know, fill up that damn wish I was a Super Saiyan feeling that doesn't exist, you know, because there's no Android 18, you know, I mean, just shit like that and just gets so heartfelt, it seems like, but when you don't pay attention to something, you know, that happens, and someone else was paying attention, so it's just about attention and just how I can say, well, now I have all the female worshipping in one building, and now I have, you know, all of the male for worshiping in another building. So I can say, all right, we have pussy over here and dick over here, that's nice. Let's try putting dick over here and pussy over here and see what it does. Do it, you know, I mean, I just think that's cool. But I just wanted to see, you know, that's what I'm saying is more universal is that this gigantic snowball of for the world is basically saying that, you know, you know, Allah's female and the other parts about this is the post-mortem worship, which I think it is if we don't continue modifying it, because um, you know, Allah is female, and uh, you know can be too strong of a feeling, and it requires extra skyscrapers and buildings in order for the lifting to even be done in some areas, especially if you have children and ready to die, you know, and let it happen to you. You know, it's pretty easy to see. You know, and, um, <clears throat> I don't really remember. <laughs> anyway, so, um, here we have, um, just cleared a room, and, uh, yeah, here's a little diagram and everything. So, you know, one, two, and three, basically. So, um, over here at one, you know, small power the breeze clean and it cleans what I said and that's one and you have to count to one you know, if you count it one time the amount of what was said is you know what it is you know <coughs> and see there's something that's too strong doesn't really fit in any of these categories like I said there's not a four over here there's not a four over here, there's not a four over here, or four over anywhere else, but there's one, two, and three. Outside of that, and speaking about something else about that, about the one, two, and three, not about the fact that there's a four somewhere else. There is no other four. And there is no escape, you know, in the movie. You know, I mean, that's the point. I mean, that's what you would learn. You know, so, um, to count, you know, basically we're saying one, two, and three, you know, is used to count, and, um, I don't fucking know, <laughs> you know, it, so here we have the small piece of debris and it cleaned, and we're saying one, because we counted it, you know, we did the high experience, you know, how it is and everything, 
and you know we realize we can clean it and it's gone we know how much debris it is we can weigh it out we can feel it we can swing it around and see how it affects another person walking you know just ate you know sandwich you know comparison you know and chips and you know probably a large sweet tea or something you know and you can see how that debris cleaned is just that meal you know they got you full <clears throat> and how you carried yourself and you know boom, 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 and just like boom, 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 boom. and then the third one is like you know letting it do it with it you know or something <clears throat> And there's not too far of the extremes where people get hurt to feel those experiences, which does the rest of the calculations for your body, you know, puts it all together. But us getting in wrecks, us getting hurt, breaking our backs, hurting our necks, looking smart, looking stupid, things like this, you know, being impressive, you know, maybe not, you know, I don't, I don't want to actually to top off, you know, especially the upside down cake. But if that had to happen. I just think I needed Muslim in here, you know, to really verify how that feel, feels upside down hard. You know, look at that, you know, about it. But yeah, the other part about it is, um, you know, it going away by having added debris and it, a nearby broom. And it's just that someone added some shit to it. And then there's a broom next to it and it just decided to go to sleep or something. And basically that's also two in the Zoom for some reason. And is cleaning it counted as one with a question mark? And it's basically just saying, you know, I said I cleaned it and, you know, I just put a little bit of stuff there and left it. Is that really enough to clean it? And I'd be like, well, not really. But te theoretically, you have to have some kind of turnaround point. So maybe it would be or not, you know. And then we have three all the way out. Broom and floor mean possible debris. And um, at three, you know, there's no height limit. So after we're saying, you know, 52 inches or 43 or whatever, you're bending over, staying at that limit or whatever. And then at three, you know, there's nothing else there. We tried this and then we tried that. And then we made it to here. And basically we could take away the limit. Now you're still there, you know, crouched over. You're like, I'm still in this area. And now I can sit up and it feels better. You know, my back is still crunched over when I'm sitting back up, you know, which is supposed to actually move it, you know, when it goes up like this, you know, instead of just keep it down. You know, um, fuck, you know. Um, so it feels like, you know, it feels like you're standing up there, you know, when you're still like that, you know, and then you can get comfortable and used to that, so. Um, at, at one, explaining how to limit to self or other. Um, at two, facing away while self or other following. To self or other, height limit cannot hurt back. Will not rely on sleep to agree. Should indefinitely not sleep somewhere in there. So somewhere at two, you know, we learned that we could probably stay up forever indefinitely like awake. Indefinitely. Now, I think that it's kind of leaning towards more female part where, you know, the female, you know, probably just can, you know, like, where's my stuff? You know, can actually have shit that you dropped as a man, you know, that you don't even know where it is because they just said something. You know, type of thing, or you know, male other way. You know, you can even save the two men. You know, if it gets too close and cramped, it feels like the same energy. You know, um, or the opposite. You know, maybe two women. And then we have, you know, zoom in, zoom out. You know, in, in and out, in and out. You know, it's like here's it happening. Like, mm -mm, it's like right in there for touch first, and the in is like. Mm, like all the way in, it's not really like bust a nut, but it is where it would happen, probably. But I'm just saying, you know, and, the, and then we have out, you know, all the way out, zoomed all the way out, taken all the way out, you know, nice good yarn on all three of them. Really get that understanding of what a contour is, you know, and what touching is. And uh, three zooms, you know, we have in, in, out, in, out, it self and other you know pretty easy to understand it is what we're talking about self is just like you know me and myself 
you know, just anything that is people that is myself, and then other all the way out, you know. I also have, you know, the three things, you know, it's like, you know, me up here, and then it was like, the second one was like, my symbol, like, kind of watching over me and being part of it, and then all the way out was, um, you know, like, everyone else, you know. But the thing is, is that, you know, you can't say God and Allah is not the orgasm mid-orgasm, which can be very fucked up and very scary to an architect or anyone, <clears throat> you know, because that's where errors happen, and that's where that mistake happened, that's where that shit is all over the place, and um, the point is, is that this is still usable, and it's still usable as in, like, still usable, and you can still use it. We have to understand the post-mortem volume levels, the way people can turn up volumes for other people. You know, they can use, you know, dead bodies as cranes and, you know, reanimate people who were dead and you can see their body after they died and then they're still using it and ice beside and going, you know, just trying to talk and stuff. And just all of these things, you know, movies, you know, with things I don't want to see and them being said again. Me have to watch another thing again. Me have to re-look at something without making art to teach something instead of having to make shit like this. I can make something about something else because I have my own interests about other things besides this. You know, that I can even explain more about it with. About something else that I'm still interested in. I'm sure I can make some kind of turnaround instead I have to go back to the same thing and it be at the exact same level where it makes my stomach look like a bunch of salami that I don't want to fucking eat. And no one will want the salami if my skin is just salami. You know, there's no way I want to lick salami. I mean, why don't they just make it about licking salami since they had, when they made it, you know, it was about a dead body being there. Then we can get rid of the buildings and do the same thing. Make some more room for nature. Make some more room for plants and trees and forests and farms and growing instead of just more buildings and more buildings and more buildings and that was my idea you know was you get rid of the two buildings you know so we could just kind of incorporate our memories back into it instead of being the physical representations of what we have created or what created us you know is not really the point when it goes that far out basically I'm saying is when you talk every single time you talk it has kickback just like a gun and it has a counting of one kickback every time you say any syllable or any word or thing you know and see when you say hi boom you know you will be backing up backwards you know or you'll be going forwards or jutting out the other direction and if you can't hold it all in then you know that it's a bad sign you know so then you write shit like this and draw it and then you make me feel more comfortable. So anyway, so basically we have stinky dirty one, stinky or not two, and clean three. And it's just basically saying that, you know, stinky and dirty, I mean just looking at a postmortem body that's stinky and dirty. You're like, well, you know, he still smells alright. You know, that's where we're at right now, is it hot? I want to order a sweet tea, baby. You know, girl says to me, Bobby, 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 Bobby. <laughs> you can't do that magic. And then we have, you know, stinky or not, too. And so it's like still fucking, you know, in that little posture sequence. And it's saying, you know, well, you know, might stink, might be clean, not really sure, you know, might be safe, might not be kind of okay you know that seems about right you know with the addiction if it was like whatever you don't want best way to see what that's like and then clean you know all the way out is just you know now I know what stinky me is like and what stinky or not me is like like kind of like a mixture not sure what it is and then three clean now I know what clean me is like 
basically to me it's just like when my hands have like kind of like made an envelope square you know or just some kind of you know mm, you know like some kind of pressure and then it smells like I cleaned I worked at this it was like a gas station and I was cleaning out uh, the relish in the little perfect square thing it was like a white uh, plastic container and I could just put my hand in it and just kind of smell the relish on my hand you know I could smell the plastic body you know just like that like the plastic of me holding something was like the perfect glove to wear it was like the perfect handshake and just perfect p professional way to s smell my hand holding an envelope after I washed my hands even or before something in that you know, just after cleaning that, I could just smell that perfect amount of clean, you know, that still had relish there. And that seemed to be the perfect clean. You know, it was like a perfect business hand, you know, business man hand, or just perfect handshake hand, you know, that smell. So then we have clean, stinky or not, and stinky or dirty. Now, if you can smell all three of these, then you should have the perfect distances with everything. So you can zoom all the way in. Zoom all the way out, and you can see how someone alive really is. And I mean, if there was really a person who was sitting there licking and having fun with my fingers while I'm talking and just, you know what I mean? That is what I want to learn how to do with people. If we could just get together and just look at how that feels, just being able to level a hand while it is speaking, you know, without becoming ugly. And just be in shapes that you don't want to be. You know, like, I'm fat and like to eat my food. So we'll watch a movie about a guy who likes to eat food. You know, <laughs> I mean, it just needs to be something better, you know. So, um, using, using whatever feels like stinky is clean. Which looks like foreign knowledge. Languages, people looking proper, being quiet, thoughts about fat men and women. Crumply sounds. And drive tobacco makes me look smart, but what I say can be changed to anything and be instinct. And ugly could be what it could translate to, so being dead could also be right after I, I, I smell and ear fuckers are a hundred percent through with me. I have no idea what I said. We have the torso used in upper half here with the line and um so man walks upside down like upside down and um, it's like like it's kind of like if you had like all your junk you know it's like your kind of like your little mid area it's like between your ass hole and your balls and your dick your your asshole and your pussy and all that it's got this little perfect area where our mouse was developed and it has that perfect wheel you can kind of feel it on and i think that's just the perfect medium for every sex but definitely is where that little area is at three you know where you can just feel that perfect medium and kind of in between three and two you know where you can just feel exactly where you know a finger pointing actually does feel right on that exact spot you know and it's just so natural to feel you feel it all day because if you ride a bicycle you know i mean if you want to go in you all day i mean there has to be some kind of place of balance you know where you can actually feel a perfect balance you know, and that is just completely, you know, how it should be, just like the relish. And then they have, you know, the torso used and upper half. And I just think with that, <laughs> that, uh, well, I mean, it all is, I want it to be worldly translated to where on both of these snowmen and women and snow things, you know, that we have, you know, <sighs> basically every single one of these would be that middle of that mouse pointer thing, you know, but without the little, you know, but just with the perfect roll, like if it was just a perfect little round thing that doesn't go, you know, just to make the angle circle, you know, it's so uncomfortable when the mouse would just go, and just laying down, fucking chilling, you know, just thinking about being around and someone's on a computer, you know, I mean, it is really sensitive life, you know, and I just hope that this helps you. But it's just, you know, like fucking like 15 minutes or whatever.
then we have this last part, and it's just uh, whatever wanted to be said. If my ass wish it can, crush a small scale down building and destroy a truth completely leaving only a cubicle. Um, there's a picture of my ass sitting on a cubicle, just a metaphor of glass, you know. And the building is my ass's strength of ever last compared to a building beating it. And so it's just that my ass is still more powerful than a building in post mortem. And that it should be, and it shouldn't be that the strength of a building's billboard without them being actual people. You know, and that, that little, you know, just all the things that I've said are not buildings, is the point. And it's actually that our bodies are telling us that. It's our freckles, it's our beautiful marks on our body, it's the things that made us art. It's how many, not just the exact number of how many hairs I have on my arm, you know, but definitely the fact that it looks like a wheat field and I want to smell it and I want to have the perfect way to say that and pronounce it, you know, is really, really important, you know. So, <clears throat> you know, um, then I have, you know, a nice ass, which is perfect. That means if I'm judged by a female who is not post-mortem, her ass will be able to do the same. But also, she and I would trade places in the same simulation. Both of ours take turns being good. And so it's just that, you know, if someone does, you know, crush a huge gigantic building to just a small scale form, which is a math equation that you have to answer, or you wouldn't be able to even be in school answering a simple equation like, you know, um, four equals one equal, you know, like it'd be like, you know, four out of a hundred, you know, was like one out of this, you know, or four out of a hundred, you know, what out of, out of 10, you know, you'd be like 0.4, you know, that is the scaling you have to use. And, you know, Censorship is still targeting what should be done, so definitely um, sexy, censored, and uncensored, you know, on the, on the snowman. Now, sexy up here, censored, and uncensored here. This is zoomed all the way out to uncensored. Censored is here, you know, just like before, and then we have the sexy up here. So that's just a little confirmation note for you there. And then we have no... Um, SCU and UCS, you know, because it spells the word sucks and I didn't like it there. And um, so, no Jupiter Stupider type of like, you know, girl, girl, Jupiter, and yeah, 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 from Venus, and he likes Venus, you know. You can't have that going on while someone's saying Jupiter was stupider. So, I was just saying that that is basically extra waste of space and. If you act it out and you can't act it out, basically I'm just saying like when you when you watch me do this, your body has to go up into that one zone and actually copy me and do what I'm doing, you know. And it does it inside of me. Like if I'm going like this, you're going like this, you know. You're going more extreme. And um, when you hear something. You copy it exactly, you know, using the sounds that you use to make something with. Hearing something is saying something also. You know, so it's very, very useful and very beneficial and extremely good to understand that. You know, because, you know, we still don't see it, you know, they're still intruding in homes. They're still crime and robberies. I'm sure it's all happened to me in other forms. You know, but definitely it's not always going to be a man who intrudes at home. But I mean, this is America, the first place with locks on the door, basically. You know, but you don't have women that just go inside of a home and just, hey, you know, and then that was the intrusion. It's like, well, let's get married, you know, pop, 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 and then that's it. You know, it's just, you know, the formats and things that be. You know, you can definitely tell that, you know, people that get locked up sometimes actually just have other things that they really like and are in a really good position. And it looks like, you know, it could be even worse. And it might be, you know, but there's no other room for that right now. So I think we're all just kind of working our way towards good places to be in. And I think that all the uh, 
stuff about, you know, this person shouldn't say this and all that is just the accumulation of all of our thoughts. And, you know, when you see, you know, people together, you know, anti-social movement all the way. Anyway, I um, hope you like what I've said so far. Hope it teaches you tons and tons and hope you really understand the difference between a Muslim and a Christian and understand that it's just two methods of using two different sex toys. And yes, they have lots of different ideas in there and it's really cool to look at it. But it's better to be able to take it and separate it from everything else. That way, you know, you don't have, you know, cake in your face. You're like, <laughs> like how everyone talks. And then they have poop all over the place. And it's like, eh, eh, I might fuck Stephen Hawking, but I don't know. I might fuck Stephen Hawking. <laughs> you know, it's just that much of that and that hand layers. You know, and I mean, just that much of that. <sighs> and, you know, you'd be like, well, you know, I might like, you know, Eve Hawking, but I don't know. Maybe I don't like Eve Hawking, you know. And just the way that that does that, you know, it needs to be paid attention to, y'all. And I mean, you need to be a culture and actually call this stuff out and, you know, we still have yo mama, but we still have father fucker, yo daddy, you know, and that's where all the Muslims are at and you're not. That's why disaster is better than Eminem, because Eminem's a Christian, it's gay, you know, disaster is supposedly born Muslim, which isn't. You know, but if you put them both together and do other shit with it, you know, it would make other things. Besides just being, well, this or not, this or not, too. You know, I'll just take my little idea and just sit here like I have a gun. And I'll just wait on a person to walk by. And won't shoot the person, of course. And then also, I'll just do the same thing. I'll just sit here with my little finger and I'll be that scary movie too guy with the uh, turkey. And I'll just kind of sit here and wait to pinch. And we maybe have my little pistoly looking hand motion, which is a signal in two. And I'll just sit here and wait on the intruder at my home and won't shoot anything. So I think they both would have done the same thing. I think that being gay is being probably alive and just not having children. So basically, just working on the fact that everything's gay and uh, not just. Male or female, it doesn't matter. I think it just has to do with the fact that we are actually alive and present in the moment. Even if we, you know, I think that most people have now understood that we have all emulated ourselves up to this point. And kind of, uh, kind of forced ourselves to feel feeling, you know, by doing other things because our eyes uh, kind of require a backwards motion. Or to go forwards, you know, you have to go away from something to go towards something, you know, to take a break away from something to engage something. So that's just the math. 